What we're going to show you next is workspace reservations. This is a 55 inch monitor, all in one once again. Here I have the live status of all of our meeting spaces on this second floor. I have the option, of course, to select other floors, but here it's set at a standard, our second floor. And not only can I book any of these conference rooms, etc., I can even book a wellness room. So let's say if I wanted to go ahead and book for the rest of the day, might send out some warning signs to my boss, but here I'll be very comfortable and very easily done for me to book that wellness room, which actually just has that massage chair. But what I'm going to show you next is how do we book a hot desk for the day or for an hour, let's say. We are enabling a hybrid work model here at Zoom. We actually allow our users to come in and book desks for whichever period of time that they need. Here, the prompts are very easy to follow. All I need to do is go to my Zoom client and I go to scan QR code as an option. Just like that, I was able to authenticate myself with that reservation very seamlessly. And because I'm using the Zoom client, I don't have to put in my credentials, etc. Now what's really cool about this, yes, I was able to make this reservation on the kiosk. The authentication process was very seamless for me. I also have the exact same access from my mobile device. So as you see here, my profile picture illustrates that I've made that reservation so I can actually see not only that I made a reservation, but I'm sitting right next to Franklin. I see his profile picture there as well. I can have full access to the reservations here on my mobile device. Furthermore, I have the option to filter. Filter based on assets, such as a docking station. Maybe I want a desk that it's standing. Maybe I want dual monitors. Perhaps I'm looking for a room that has a capacity of 10 people or more. All of that filter is available here and we also have built in the option for you to have reservations questionnaire. Maybe you want to gather more information about why people are coming to the office and even check in questionnaire where you want to perhaps flag if anybody has any symptoms and give them the prompt to please not come into the office if they're feeling any, you know, COVID symptoms, for instance. All of that is baked in and you also get dashboard with it as well. Of course, we integrate with Office 365 Exchange and Google Calendar. That's a native integration. And room scheduling devices are included with the Zoom Room subscription. So if you want to have that consistency here, you book either from the kiosk or your mobile device and you can navigate to the room, you see the room's presence. We don't make hardware, right? So you choose your hardware. What we are presenting here today is the neat pad. It has the LED light built in. It's a room purpose scheduling device. It's power over ethernet. And because it has the LED light built in directly on the panel, you easily can see as you look down the hall, the rooms that are available in green and which ones are actually occupied in red. Now, regardless of the hardware that you choose, and there's a lot of different hardware certified um, options we can work with an iPad for it's this crush on. Neat, of course, is what we're showcasing here, but Logi, Poly, D10, we've got a lot of other considerations. In this case, again, regardless of the hardware that you choose, we've got the banner at the bottom, okay? And you have the option to see what's going on for the day and book directly from the room scheduling device. So you don't need to go door to door or back to your phone or your computer to find an alternative room if this is currently be occupied. You even have the option to see here the live status of all of your booking bookable spaces and even hot desk and hotel and you have the option to book directly from here. You just scan that QR code. The workflow remains consistent. That parity and continuity is very important to us. We also have the option on the room scheduling devices to allow your users to self-report any issues with the room. So let's say the TVs are not turning on, etc. whichever the need is you can customize that message and the appropriate individuals will be made aware. All right. And here how we leverage Zoom digital signage is we push out workspace reservations, live status of our meeting spaces, right? So from the elevator foyer or the main lobby, our users and guests can see at a glance which rooms are available, who's in the office, etc. We're gonna show you next is our hot desk. Okay, and here what we've got is the option for us to join that hot desk and we've got the QR code that's present 
on the Zoom Phone appliance, okay? If you have a Zoom Phone appliance, this is pretty remarkable, that we can take a reservation, okay? And because of that reservation, I can completely transform the persona on this phone by checking in. I'm gonna show you how that works here really quick. What does all mean? I'm gonna go into my Zoom client. Right here, I have the option to scan QR code. And just like that, I'm checking in without any need for credentials because frankly, if I've already been checked in on my phone with my credentials, so I already knows who I am, and this phone is gonna take the persona, right? It's my persona for the duration of that reservation. I can set up a pin code in case I need to walk away. Uh, it protects my screen. But everything's been transferred here. My history, my voicemails, my contacts, my phone number. So I can be reached from this phone. I can also answer from anything that I'm logged into from a Zoom client perspective, right? So if Franklin is to give me a ring, for instance, you will see that I have the option to answer from various different devices, including my phone. So let's go ahead and answer. Okay, in this instance here, I have answered, right? And let's say Franklin and I are having a conversation. I'm just gonna show you in a moment how I can transfer the Zoom phone call and to a phone booth, for instance. But before I go ahead, one thing to take into account is, yes, we have the QR code that's present here on the Zoom phone appliance. This is leveraging a Zoom phone common area phone license, but if you just want to leverage the hot desk with no hardware needed, you can always refer to printing the QR code and have that available at the desk. All right, back to my demo. So let's say Franklin and I are having a conversation and I need to transfer this call because this conversation's become too sensitive. I can certainly transfer this call and I can transfer, let's say, to a phone booth. I see the presence of that phone booth is green, which means that a space is available. I can go ahead and transfer the Zoom phone call into a Zoom rooms very easily. I hear that it's ringing and it's what's great here is I didn't have to reschedule the call, right? I didn't have to hang up and create a new meeting. I can just easily transfer. And once here in this space, I also have the ability to elevate it to video. Right now, Franklin on his end sees that I've elevated this call to video and he has the option also to accept that video call. What's really great here is because we're leveraging, hey Franklin, I'm leveraging the full ecosystem, I see all of our meeting features embedded into this experience. So we truly don't skip a beat. Thanks so much, Franklin.